What's going on, nerds, blurds, and everybody in between? It's your boy, Double One, aka Wyatt with the Blurred Syndicate. And today we are talking about the first two episodes of Marvel's What If. And today I got somebody here with me. My my best friend, my brother, and founder of the 2020 podcast, LLC. Yeah. Please, if you don't do nothing else, please say the LLC. Please. Sir, how you doing today, bro? I'm good, brother, man. Thank you for having me again. You know, I'm always at home over here. Yeah, yeah, we, we always, we got that. Now, if you haven't seen already, Sir did a a little webisode, is that what we would call it? I think that's accurate, I think that's accurate. A webisode of what is Sir reading? And uh, Sir, what, what are you reading? Uh, well, I just finished the first volume of There's Something Killing the Children. And I've just completed the second volume, and that review is going to come out this week. So, you know, so. so check it out. Uh, we, we talked about it, and it was really great because I was on the Haven Comic Quiz Show, and they were talking about the same thing. And we had I, I had to plug Sir. I was like, listen, y'all talking about it because y'all haven't read it. Sir read it already. So he's on his ish, as they say. So, um, yeah, but it, it's been a while, man. It's been a while. We shouldn't have left you without some BS to step to. That's, that's Ooh, how I feel. Bars? Yes. You know, every once in a while, I come out. So, <laughs> so getting to Marvel, man, uh, what did you feel? We'll, we'll take it by episode. So, how did you feel about the first episode? Man, it's, it's I enjoyed it, but a lot of people didn't. Um, I saw the funniest meme on in the world, and it said, uh, first episode of What If is about Captain Carter. They said, instead of What If, they should have said, What For? Bruh, I died <laughs> laughing. That yeah. was funny. That was funny. That was prime comedy. But I, I get why, you know, because let's be honest, if, if we may, you know, that's what we do. Yeah. Captain America 1, the movie was pretty boring. It was it was he was probably the most boring out of all. That in between Thor Dark World, yeah, pretty boring. And Thor Thor 1 and 2 was bad. Uh, 3 3 was the one that kind of picked him up. I agree. I agree. Yeah. But um they they took this concept of one decision, you know, causing a, a divi divergent path, and it seems to be the recurring thing for this what uh what mm -hmm. if. But um, they they took her, and she steps in as she takes the Super Soldier Serum, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, she becomes the new Captain America, but Captain Carter. And um, I thought it was okay. Um, even though it was pretty run of the mill, it was pretty much take out Steve Rogers, put in you know Peggy Carter, and just let her run with it. And there were a few slight variations with characters, but um, I think my favorite thing about this episode, bro was seeing more of Howard Stark. Mm -hmm. Like, he was pretty funny to me the entire episode. Mm -hmm. Like, um, there's a scene where uh, Carter and uh, Rogers is about to kiss, and he just pops up in the window. He's like, oh, oh, go ahead, go ahead, y'all, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a little awkward stuff like that. It's, it's like having Tony, but this is that. Well, they they kind of like in the um, in the first Captain America movie where like Steve didn't know what Fondu was. He and he was like he was like, bro, you need you need to get up on your game. He's like Fondu is something completely different than what you're talking about. Like right. cheese, that's 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 Fondu here. So yeah, I, I I enjoyed it. It was it was a nice twist. We got um. Uh, a different form of Iron Man, which was the Hydra Stomper, piloted by Steve Rogers. So Steve Rogers was in essence the first Iron Man. Um, we we got to keep Bucky. I thought that was cool. Um, special appearances by the Howling Commandos. They weren't just fodder. You know, they actually felt like they were an actual unit. And um, why? What, what, answer this for me. Did Captain America kill that many people in Captain America 1? Yes, he did. Oh, okay. Because yeah, I was like, damn, she's really murking people. <laughs> yeah. So you don't remember he was he was throwing grenades and tanks. He was he was shooting and all the rest of it. So he they so it, it was about the same. It was about the same. That was 
He was murking people. Well, she was murking people, bro. Like, but now the one, uh, you go ahead. So I want I want you to get your whole review out because okay. I was one of those I was one of those people who did not like the first episode. Gotcha, gotcha. So um, getting to the point where we saw the Red Skull, it was cool to see. Um, I can't think of his name, but the guy who plays uh, Agent Smith mm-hmm. come back as his voice role. I thought that was really cool because I didn't think they were gonna get him. Um, and uh, I like him. Um. I thought the antagonist was Shuma Garat, mm-hmm. uh, so I nerded out a little bit about that, but it seemed like that it wasn't him in particular, it was just one of the many angled ones, okay. which is cool, you know, and I, I'm not tripping about that. As somebody who enjoyed Marvel vs. Capcom, anytime I see green tentacles that's not in porn, I'm going to think of Shuma Garat, period. I, I'm all right there with you, because I because <laughs> we, we called, you called it, we were like, is that, is that who we think it is? And then after that, I was like, oh. But, right. So um, uh, at the end, like I said, keeping Bucky, even with his little quip, you know, feel like he ripped my arm off. I was like, ah, OK, that's cool. And um, even I, I will say the melancholy at the end when she returns 70 years later, mm-hmm. don't hit the same like Captain mm-hmm. America's did, you know, because mm-hmm. Cap was like, man, I, I'm, I missed the dance, you know, or what do you say? I missed the date or something. Yeah, something he said, like I, yeah. But um, it, it just, it didn't hit, you know? It was just like, eh, it was throwaway. That ended was real throwaway to me. But other than that, I was like, okay, this is cool start. So I was, like I said, I was one of those people that did not like the first episode. <laughs> I, I, man, I was like, if, if this is what we are expecting from What If series, I'm gonna be pissed because, because the only thing that they were doing was changing like, I was expecting a brand new story, um, like like we we got with you know with episode two, but like and so then when I got this cookie cutter Captain America story, but you know as a man versus a woman, it it made me think about like the Spider Man um, cartoon where um, the Drake Bell one where he went to like an alternate universe, so there's only one or two things that are different but it's still the essential same story. I was like, I'm not here for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for I'm here for a different story. Now, don't get me wrong, the fight scenes were nice. Yeah. Like they were really, really good and they were done very, very well. But to me, like, I just was like, I was like, that's not, you know what I mean? If that's the only thing that we're really getting that, that's going to be different, like, you know, it was Captain America it was a woman Captain America. I was gonna say something a little bit different, but I thought I thought it'd be thought about that. You know, right. words. Yeah. That 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 filter. Mm-hmm. So uh so yeah, as far as that was concerned, uh I didn't I didn't really I didn't think of it too much as far as that's concerned. Like it was literally Captain America, but you know what I mean, the the roles were, were swapped and you know, essentially she she was Captain America and he was Bucky. And that was it. Mm. And so he, he still, he got locked. They, they thought that they lost Cap uh, or Steve Rogers at the same, you know, you know, train station area. You know what I mean? Like they, they still had that. I, I was just, I was just very unimpressed. I was like, if that's, if that's what it's going to be, then count me out. No, I, I can't even be mad at you, bro. Cause like I said, I didn't like Captain America's movie. Actually, I remember we went to go see it together. I actually fell asleep for like 10 minutes in Captain America, the movie. So I'm not even mad at that response, bro. It, the thing that kept me going is quite honestly, the pacing was really good. It'd be like a few sections of dialogue, bam, right back to the action. A few sections mm-hmm. of exposition, bam, right back to the action. So that's what really kept me going in it. One thing I didn't like mm-hmm. is it felt Disney-fied. And I'm explain what I mean. Mm-hmm. They were doing certain stuff and doing certain face that you, faces that you would see in like a Disney mm-hmm. movie, like a, a Disney animated movie. Like they'd be fighting and kick him in the crotch and he'd be like, Oof. and then he'd fall, that, mm-hmm. the big Krauser looking dude. Yeah. And I'm like, that's not Marvel style, you know? Like, I don't mm-hmm. know, it just, certain facial expressions and I, if they said they took the studio 
from you know Disney that worked on like The Incredibles, I totally believe it because it, it felt like an animated movie in certain spots and not a comic book movie. Yeah, it felt it felt and that that was the other thing. Like it felt cheesy at times. You know what I mean? And yeah. and like um, like it still gave me that will they or won't they? You know what I mean? And to me, I felt like uh, you know Peggy Carter would have been one of those people that like took charge. Like, hey, listen, we finna go here. We finna go here. You meet me here. Like, ain't no like there there wouldn't be any any kind of oh man will they or won't they you know what i mean because that's not her character she's very direct she's very forward in what she wants and i felt like she she would have been like hey you know if you're feeling me like i'm feeling you why don't we go here so you know what i mean it wouldn't have been all that will they or won't they and i think that would have made for a better story as well if you know what i mean you know they they're finding this budding romance and and then she loses the man that she loves you know, and she's trying and she's willing to give up her life, but they're like, you're more important than what he is. And, and she's like, not to me. Mm. I, I can't argue with that, bro. I can't argue with that. That would be hell interesting. I, mean, I can't even, I can't even play devil's advocate, but what? you got that. <laughs> so, I mean, that's, that's what I wanted to do, or that's what I thought about the first episode of, of what if I, but then something else happened with episode two. Someone oh, happened. Oh, oh, oh. Before we go to episode okay. two, God, just like we did with the Hills, I need you to give me a rating. Like, one out of five, what would you rate episode one? A two. Damn! Ooh, okay. Two. Ooh, ooh. All right, I'm... You can't go four. You can't I'm be go... A, I'm gonna be a little bit generous in this because it's the first. It's the first first so i'm gonna be a little bit generous i'm gonna give it i ain't gonna give it a four i ain't gonna give it a four we, i was gonna say <laughs> i was gonna say I'm, I'm gonna give it a 3.38 what, what gives it 0.38 because i can't give it 3.5 because of the cheesy shit like the cheesy shit was a little bit too much it was like are y'all reaching for kids with this? Like, I, mm. I see less cheesy shit on, like, Jetix or Disney XD. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it, just, it felt like this was a rated... What is it, for G? everyone? Or G? Oh, yeah, G or E. I was like, until people started dying. But it, it just certain things. And, and the, the villain said, he was like, I wanted a super soldier and I got a girl. That that was another part that was cheesy. You know what I mean? Like, like you, if she if she could beat your ass, like you put some respect on her name, and right. like she teed his ass right in there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, so even even with what was it, Tommy Lee Jones when he was when he was in Captain America, like he was like, hey, listen, I don't like that you do this, but I still have enough knowledge and intelligence to know that I'm not going to talk crazy to you. Right. So like that one made it made it way, way more like, oh, well, no, 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 no. I'm not going to do this. You're a girl. And you know what I mean? And definitely, I don't think that, you know, that definitely could have been the, the, the overall thought. He could have been thinking that, you know, I'm pretty sure Tommy Lee Jones character was thinking that, but he was smart enough to know to shut the hell up. Oh, yeah. So, Cause she was all she was like a before Black Widow there was Peggy Carter so she was over here assassinating folks and killing folks and you know gaining intel that way so it, it yeah yeah it just uh it left me disappointed. That was another thing because uh, I was watching it with my lady friend and she was like, "This is cool and all, but she was a beast before this." So she was like, "Did we really need her in this position?" And she, her point was, there are some other women that she would have liked to have seen get this treatment. But I get it with the time constraints, you know, like mm -hmm. one, a lot of prevalent women in that time of World War II, you know, in Marvel, should I say. But I, I, I agree with her. Like, I think, I think Black Widow becomes Captain America, like, or like make it modern. You know what I'm saying? Like that would have been dope, but eh, they don't they don't pay us. 
So I ain't finna give them no free ideas. Nah, man, listen, we that's for when we make movies. So uh so on to I think which was a stark difference, a stark oh yeah contrast to to what we saw in the first episode. Episode two. If if King T'Challa or Prince T'Challa at the time got picked up by um Ravagers. How'd you feel about it? I'm gonna give you my rating before we even get started. Five out of five. This was perfect. This was perfect. We got a little bit less of the campy cheesy stuff Mm -hmm. and more and and this listen, let me make this clear. Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. Um I'm not giving a 5.5 because Chadwick is gone. I'm going to be real with you. The reason it's getting a 5.5 really isn't because of Chadwick. It's the dynamic that he came into contact with all these villains and he swayed them into being the Ravagers. You have Thanos, Korath the Pursuer, um, uh, Taserface, uh, Yondu, like everybody he comes into contact with, he has the swag that Star-Lord really wished he had in the movies. Mm. And he just drew people in. And I, I thought that was amazing. Um, I, uh, it was perfect, bro. And I never thought Thanos could be funny, but they proved me wrong. Thanos had me cracking about Man. genocide. Yeah, he was like, he was like, listen, D, he was like, it wasn't, it wasn't genocide. He was like, I was balancing an equation. And it's like, sounds like genocide to me. You know what I mean? And and so it, it definitely spun everything. And like you said, that was the thing that I was really looking for. That that ripple effect, that one thing changed all the rest of it. Because honestly, the only thing that it changed was was just who was who was carrying the shield and who died and that that one that I, to me that didn't that didn't make a whole lot of difference in the first episode and the second one like you said everybody had different roles everybody was different um the collector because thanos wasn't there was the big boss he, he was badass because he also had different stuff that was going on um with you know he had he had different weapons from other, you know, people. And then it was really cool because of the fact that he had not only that going on, but he also, um, you know, they just had a lot of just good dynamics where that ripple was bigger than just just that one area or that one space in time. So it, it made a lot of it made a lot of sense to me. One other thing that I think people saw but it didn't register. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go back to when the collector brought out his wall of toys to fight the child. Mm-hmm. He had Cap Shield, he had Mjolnir, he had the Dark Elf Sword, and a few other items. Now, he whipped out Hela's helmet. Mm-hmm. And he said this specifically. Who that woman had such a sense of fashion. Had. Mm-hmm. That means he destroyed her, bro. <laughs> That means he disposed of a hella. And then he had a, what's her, the stone dude? He had his hand. Yeah, Korg. Yeah, yeah. he had Korg's arm. Bruh. Mm-hmm. Bruh. Bruh. And, and um, I had I had heard, I know they're part of like the elders of the universe or something like that. It's a mm-hmm. bunch of them motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. But bruh, like, let's, I'm gonna be real with you. That motherfucker was swole. He was big. Mm-hmm. He was big. He was big. Uh, I, I, he, he really seemed like a credible threat. Cause at first I was like the collector, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, the collector, then he got some he, stuff. He, 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 yeah. So he's not collecting. It's just like he taking the toys out the box. So right. he, he, he got them and he playing with them. So that was really, really cool to me too because like he was doing that. Um, but then like the different things, cause like uh Yandu, you know, I was I was I was worried that Yandu was gonna die. You know what I'm saying? Just like he, he he did there. But then like then it became something really, really even more special because of the fact that 
you know, T'Challa had brought together not only people from from outer space, but he had brought people within to Wakanda. And like you said, he had all these people that his lives had touched that was completely different than, than anything else. So um, I have to agree with you, man. Like, and it wasn't, it, like you said, it was great to hear to, you know, Chadwick and, you know, rest in peace, Wakanda forever, bro but the the story was so much more in depth and it, and if their stories like that then i can mess with them like but it if they're if they're just you know people changing roles and you know what i mean because i know that there's one where it's got a uh, robert downey jr and it's got a uh, killmonger and if killmonger is it's just a new war machine i'm gonna just I'm gonna be upset because now you set a precedent of, of like, hey, you got these people and they're so instrumental, and and especially like Iron Man because he touches so many other of the stories. Like, if he does that, you've got to have that ripple go bigger than just you know, just then that that you know Barrow in uh in New York. You got to be able to have it see it go throughout the whole thing. I'm gonna be real with you. I think these stories are interconnected. I do. Oh, this, this is my thing. You want to hear my, you want to hear my conspiracy? Let's do it. I think there's going to be a what if Avengers team. I think so too. I think so too. And I think, um, I think Killmonger is going to be the Black Panther of the team. Hmm. I think so. I don't think they're, I think they're rectifying the fact that they killed him in the movie because one of the trailers briefly show him suiting up in the gold Jaguar outfit. Hmm. So I didn't see that. Yeah. So I think there's going to be uh, either a secret wars or they're going to deal with, um, what's the thing that crosses dimensions? Uh, Annihilus. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to deal with that. Uh, but either way, I'm excited. I don't know who the next episode is, but I know there's an episode. I think T'Challa is in two or three more episodes. Yeah, Early that's, a, that's I what I hear. Um, hopefully, it's Tony and uh, Killmonger. I want to see them keep riding this momentum. You know, um, or if not, I'd like to see Doctor Strange's story or Thor's or the Marvel Zombie story. Like I, I want, I'm ready. I'm I'm ready for it to get progressively crazy. That's what yes. I mean. Yes. Yes. Oh. Like I, I want to be able to see how they they interact with everyone, so that we can be able to see and like like kind of like how they did with the uh, beginning of Phase One, where everybody's stories are are you know separate at first, but you see different little you know little little strings that you can be like, okay, I can see how that can connect to that one. So I'm I'm really really excited to see that so that um, I can be able to, to kind of put and piece those things together. Um, what if, and you see what I did there? Uh, what, if they're, what if they're connected to Loki's stories? I definitely feel like what if is what we saw with those branching timelines, 100%. Mm -hmm. Because if you notice, everything is in chronicolo chrono chronological order. Uh -huh. You know, so I definitely feel they're connected, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Definitely feel like this is why the, the he who remains couldn't see what was going on anymore because what if was going on at that very moment? Absolutely. And shout out to Jeffrey Wright. He does a lot of stuff too, and he's the voice of the Watcher now. And then he's also going to be alternate Jim, alternate timeline Jim Gordon. So uh, I'm excited to see that as well. So yeah, that's going to be lit. Speaking of voice actors. I don't know mm -hmm. if you noticed, but Taserface also voices Lou Boo in Dynasty Warriors. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, did you know that Taserface in real life was the big guy off of uh, uh, This Is Us? I don't know if you ever watched This Is Us, but I do. Uh, I haven't seen it, but I heard it's dramatic and... Bruh. Pulls at, the heart, pulls at the heart strings. Yeah, I heard it's tear-inducing. Yeah. Yeah, man. So Check it out. Yep. If you if you need a good tear up, you need a good uh, soul cleanse. Mm, just just, just go ahead and turn on this is us. I'm a and, uh, <laughs> so so um, I think we talked about uh, 
Well, I'm going to give it a five out of five, too. Uh, talked about that. Talked about the first and the second episode. What else do you think? Uh, do you think have any ideas on what they're going to do with the Hulk? Or if there's going to be a Hulk? I think Hulk is going to be a zombie because I want to see zombie Hulk give... Uh, I, I, I seen a, I think it was Bucky I seen fighting the zombies. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. But I, I want to see a zombie Hulk fuck shit up. I, I do know I want that. I do know I want that. Because we haven't seen Hulk go like nuts since what was that? Uh Age of Ultron? Yeah. You know? They they, they did they did my boy Hulk home. Yeah, he, man. He I got pieced up. But I think it's I think it's Universal's fault because they didn't want to give him uh they didn't want to give up his license and rights. So they was like, oh, so so y'all gonna keep him. All right, we just wanna go ahead and let you know he getting fucked up now. Hey, you know, I'm uh, I'm okay with them phasing him out and bringing in She-Hulk because I kinda like She-Hulk more anyway. I, 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 there's only a certain, there's no, you can only do so much with an angry, angry person. You know what I mean? So, so I get where you're coming from. Um. Yeah, I mean, cause she's she's in control. She she's smart. She's witty. She's a lawyer. It's like Marvel and Law and Order came together and had a baby, yes. and, and that's that's exactly what she is. And then yeah, so I can I can definitely rock with that though. And and because we're getting the the, the selection of characters we're getting, mm -hmm. I can see that uh, Civil War two is about to occur in some way or fashion. You know what um, else I, go ahead. Uh, no, 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 go ahead. I wanna hear what you have to say. I think I think definitely we're gonna get Young Avengers here sometime soon. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and that's gonna be a oh. Disney Plus show. They're, they're just gonna to rock that out. And yeah, I I'm think, here for it. yeah, absolutely. So I, I can't wait, uh, give me, what young patriot or whatever yeah patriot mm -hmm. yeah patriot kate bishop uh wiccan and speed uh i wonder how, if they're gonna do some form of hulkling mm. you know what they may have to because like in what is it uh spider-man the latest spider-man one mm -hmm. uh what's his face was in uh what's his mm -hmm. face was in and then after oh. that captain marvel was dealing with that uh the the scroll Cree. Mm -hmm. Creek squirrel. Oh, squirrel. Yeah. Uh they were messing with them. So it's it's definitely a possibility. I'm I'm excited to see those. Uh I like I keep saying it in the chat because you know in the blurred chat, people need to understand what me and Jeremy are talking about with Hawkeye. Mm -hmm. If they're doing my life as a weapon, Hawkeye mm -hmm. is going to be the sleeper hit. I can that comic that. book is ridiculously dope. You were talking about uh, Hawkeye and how it was the sleeper hit. Yeah, man. Um, it's it's going to be great, bro. Um, Kate Bishop is going to be dope. And I know people are like, man, this is just going to be a knockoff arrow. I don't think so, bro. Don't get me wrong. People are going to die because they kill people. Mm -hmm. But it's, I think, do people remember how funny Hawkeye is? Like, and do people remember how excited they was to see him when he was in the endgame? Like when he was murdering people. See, so but here's the thing: some people, because he didn't have the glitz and the gram glamour, they don't remember him like that. That's why. You know? And so, and so then, especially that they were they were caught up with the fact that he had that that crazy little haircut. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. <laughs> so so they were they were kind of caught up on that. They they did catch the fact that, that he was killing the silver samurai, or they didn't catch the fact that, you know what I mean, they said that he had murdered a whole cartel down in Mexico. You know what I mean? So it he was bored. Though. Because <laughs> because he found them. So <laughs> like right. he, he found them and he was like, ah, oh, okay. Time time somebody it's time for, for GTS, time for somebody to go to sleep. Right. So um but I think, I think that is a really, really good. Um, I think it's a good, good aspect, man. I think it's going to be a lot of fun um, with with Hawkeye. What? All right, so I'm going to ask you a question. If okay. you had control of Disney Plus and Marvel, 
what television show would you make? Uh, you could redo one too. So if you want to, or continue on. Okay. I, this this is this is an easy choice for me because I think he did so great in uh, Agents of Shield that we can go ahead and give him the green light for a few episodes. We need we need Robbie Reyes. I need that to be a show. Okay. He did awesome as Ghost Rider. I agree. So I, I would love to see that. And I think the fans need, we need a good Ghost Rider. He was you amazing. And it's a, it's a good way to switch into the Midnight Suns, bro. So, as you know, we got Blade coming. We already got Morbius out there. I think they said they finna work on Werewolf by Night, which I did not read because it didn't look appealing to me. But hey, if, if we go, if if Doctor Strange's horror movie is gonna be okay, I think the rest of these will be all right. Okay. So, but yeah, long story short, we we need Robbie Reyes. We need that ASAP. I got one for you. I would redo Iron Fist, and I would make him half white, half Asian. So then he's not accepted in cultures. So then after that, he's still an outsider. And um, when his family dies, he's he's learning his his way in the world um, because he was still he was still an affluent um, you know billionaire son you know, as far as that's concerned. So then he still has to learn the ways, but then he's looked down upon by both cultures. So he's finding his own way from that. I could mess with it. I do wish that he would show up in um, Shang-Chi just to get beat up. Just for everybody who just tried to stick with it. Mm. I, I would like to see just the or, run his. Or just have, or have his outfit or a mask or something. Just, that, uh, you know. I just want Shane Chi to beat someone up who was Iron Fist just to be like, huh, this is the good one, guys. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it's funny that you mean, mentioned a certain movie because I don't, is there something that, that we need to tell them? Oh, oh, they didn't know? They, they didn't. We, we oh. haven't let them know yet. Oh, we might as well let them know here. Well, so, since the Black Widow uh, giveaway had such great participation, mm -hmm. uh, we decided to run this thing back and do it another time. We're gonna do it for Shang Chi, and this time we got a brother in on. You know what I'm saying? My brother's keeper is joining in in the giveaway. That's right, we're giving away tickets to go see Shang Chi and the Ten Rings, bro. So uh, why? Tell them what they got to do. Tell them what they got to so, do. Real simple. Well. It's three or four steps, or if it's just, it's just really follow all of those people. So follow the 2020 podcast, LLC. Mm -hmm. You got to follow the Blurred Syndicate. Mm -hmm. You got to follow my brother's Keepers podcast. Mm -hmm. And then on that giveaway, the only thing you got to do is name your favorite martial artist comic book character. So if, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you some hints. If you say Shang Chi, okay. Or if you say Iron Fist, all right. If you say Batman, I'm going to call you a lie. But <laughs> you can go ahead and say anybody else you want to. Right. If they've had martial arts training, if, if they kick and punch, go ahead and say it. Just don't say Superman because the only thing he do, the only thing he does is eat hands. That he don't, he don't have no kind of skills. That's the one person I really feel like would be a beast if he went and did it. But that's for another time, another story. Mm. Uh, but he's definitely a white belt. He just need to go talk to Batman about how he need to get some some lessons because he didn't have to eat on them hands from all these other people. You know what? He is purely offense and no defense. You're absolutely <laughs> right. So um, if you want to say any of the Robins, they're martial artists, that's especially Damon. Especially Damon. Don't give them no more wine. That's enough. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, no. Listen, I just want to be able to reward the people that have made it this far in the video because, you know, they're going to be the first ones to know this because this is probably going to drop probably tonight. So we'll go ahead and, and drop the uh, post. You want to say you want to say tomorrow? Yeah, let's do it tomorrow. Monday's a good place to start. Monday's a great day. So we'll do that and we will we will go ahead and um, We'll release uh, the winners like the weekend before or like that, that we'll, we'll come up with a day. 
Yeah. The weekend before is like the 27th, 28th. Actually, that's this week. <laughs> so, I think a week is enough time for them to get their ish together. Well, let's do it on the, like, it comes out on the 3rd? Yeah, it comes out on the 3rd. Let's do it on the 2nd. 2nd? That's that third. That's that's a Thursday. We can do that. We can do that right before we do our our uh, our what's the face. We can do our heels review. Damn, that is. We'll, we'll edit this part out. We'll just make it sound like we, we're gonna do it on Thursday. Make that sound. Yeah. So we will we'll make it happen. We want to make sure that y'all go see these movies because you can't go on Disney Plus to watch this movie. This is the first one that that they said, "Hey, we're not gonna go ahead and put it on on uh, Disney Plus for no thirty dollars." Barely people are getting upset about. It. I'm kidding. 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 So, so, so somebody got a little attitude about it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> decide to decide to sue. I love <laughs> sue the mouse. Got it. I'm kidding. I love this guy. Uh, so. Um, but you know, definitely go check this out. Um, I know we, you know, a month or two ago, we had a conversation about martial artists and martial artists move and martial art movies. It's a great place to go ahead and see one. So, um, you know, they got rings, they got martial arts, kicks and punches, and they got the dude that played Drago's son and Creed two in there too. A word? You know that. Mm-hmm. He was a dude, you know, the subway t- fight. Oh, brother Saber. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I didn't realize that. That seems so quick. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's dope. That's dope. So, so before we uh, close everything out, uh, sir, you got anything else? You won't? Oh uh, no, nah, man. Just be on lookout for the next review of uh, Volume Two of uh, There's Something Killing the Children. Um, I'm going to finish volume three probably tonight. And uh, yeah, if you have any comic books you want me to review or check out, because you know, I really like to do the obscure ones, the ones that people don't really know about. Let me know. I'll check it out. All right. Well, so below here, we want you to tell us how you felt about the first two episodes of uh, What If? What you think is going to happen in, in the future episodes? How did uh, Chadwick Boseman, R.I.P., how did he make you feel? Did it, was somebody cutting onions at your house like, like they were at mine? So mm. so go ahead, comment below, and, and don't forget, be like the whole, smash that follow button. And we're gonna be like, start killing daughter. We're gonna love you 3,000. So until the next time, we'll give you a two sweet and we out.